Hello friend, uh, today I would like to share some very basic yet very important reference. You may call it as a quick reference or a snowflake cheat sheet. I created this during my snow pro preparation time as it was difficult for me to keep things remember. Like as things are placed on the uh, web UI uh, based on the role you select. So I thought of recording all this for my quick reference. Um, these are very, very basic things, but it can sometime uh, it can become very tricky if you don't pay uh, attention to them. Uh, these are also explained in length uh, in multiple courses in Mantical in Snowflake University. But I tried to put them together uh, so that it can become easy for me to refer in just a tip of my hand. So what I'm going to cover today is like uh, five points, uh, basically the web UI ribbon chat sheet, then the shared database allocation role wise quick reference, uh, account admin secure share quick reference and shared database quick reference and uh, uh, shared database grant quick reference. So let's start. Yes. So first, whenever you logged in into any Snowflake uh, web UI portal on the top, you will see the ribbon. Basically, this is the menu ribbon. And here you can see different types of icons like uh, these, these are like database shares, data marketplace, warehouse, and this keeps on changing based on the role you select. So when you connect to any web UI, the default role is sysadmin by default. And when you uh, connect you can see that you will see the database share data marketplace warehouse uh, worksheet history but not account preview app partner connect help but no notification but the moment you change your role or switch the role from sysadmin to account admin you will start seeing uh, two new icon one is account one is account and another is notification the same thing when you switch your role, role from account admin to security admin, your notification menu will be uh, hide. Like it, you will not able to see the notification menu, but still you will see the account menu. So there can be a tricky question based on this permutation and combination. But to make it easy, I created a, a chart or a table where I have uh, recorded all the things based on the different setup. Uh, so uh, as of now, like it's a uh, quick for you to understand that whenever you are uh, setting the role as account admin, you will see the accounts and notification. Whenever you are selecting your role as secure admin, you will see the account, but not notification. And for rest, all other roles, uh, you will see the uh, all the menu in the ribbon except account and notification. So that's the easy and uh, uh, information, all the information on the tip of your hand. Let's go to next. Okay. So basically th these are the, uh, like uh, whenever you uh, create any new account, uh, you will see that there are a couple of database which are pre-created. So basically there are four database which are pre-created and allocated to you uh, without any efforts. One is DemoDB, one is Snowflake, where you can see your uses. Another is Snowflake sample data. And the, there is another UtilDB. But did you ever notice that uh, whenever you switch a role, uh, your database also get changed? So basically this, uh, this, uh, yeah, like this, this is more important when your role is account admin or when your account is other than account admin. So rest other all role will see uh, same. But uh, account admin and security admin will see an extra uh, database which is known as Snowflake. So whenever your role is set as account admin or security admin, you will see this extra Snowflake uh, Snowflake database. And if your role is other than account admin and security admin, this Snowflake database will hide. Just try and then you will see the differences. So these are very, uh, very basic things, but generally we don't uh, uh, keep an eye on that like these these are small things which all uh, very easily slip from our mind all right so the 
generally you know that uh, only account admin can do the shared stuff uh, by default when you are set as account admin these are the two secure share uh, which is vi visible to account admin role so the account uh, snowflake database which we generally see on our uh, worksheet on the left side corner is basically a secure shared of account uses shared by snowflake and the snowflake sample data database which we see on our uh, worksheet is basically a sample data secured shared by sfc samples so there are a couple of things which you can do like uh, for sample data you can drop the database and recreate that same data uh, database uh, with different name or you can rename the say, existing database so there are a couple of activity which you can do uh, which which i have captured on the another slide so let's go there so by default uh, for the account admin role these are the two shared database which you can see and if you create any new then you can see like uh, if you get any new inbound database or you create any share then you will see on the outbound so these are the uh, some of the uh, database related activity which you can perform on the default database or not so basically when uh, like uh, these uh, whether these database are based on share so snowflake sample data yes snowflake database is yes but demo db is a normal db like any other db you create when you want so whether you can perform a drop database on snowflake sample database yes you can perform but the same you can't perform on the snowflake so it's a read only but the same thing you can perform on demo db so it's like more or less regular database can you create a database out of your uh, this uh, in this uh, snowflake sample data yes you can create database but you can't create any database in snowflake the same thing is applicable for them so likewise you can do the rename activity add comment so this is just a bird eye view of what activity or uh, related to database you can perform on this shares and the last thing i want to like to share like what all kind of grants you can do on this default database so basically uh, these are the uh, database based out of shares uh, snowflake sample data and snowflake but demo db is not uh, shared but it is created by default along when you uh, register for the trial account or any other account so uh, uh, can you do any specific privilege like grant on this particular table xyz uh, on snowflake sample database no you can't perform because it's a shared database can you do on snowflake no but you can do on demo db because it's a normal database like can you do grant all revoke all in these two database no but you can do on demo db because these are a uh, normal db but if you want to do a grant imported because it's a share uh, you can easily do the grant imported or revoke imported in snowflake sample data and snowflake uh, database but the same thing you can't do on demo db because it is not created as a shared because it's not a shared database so these roles are specifically for the shared database grant imported and revoke imported so that's all guys hope this is uh, going to help you